In previous videos, we used the HackRF to capture packets from our Chinese diesel heater. These we'll use to program in an Arduino to hook to our Home Assistant. That way we can automate the heater from our Home Assistant and control it anytime, anywhere. Okay, it's go time. Out in the shop, so I accidentally hit the button and these two are talking. We'll let that time out and they'll quit yapping. And then we're gonna see, in theory, if I plug this in, nothing will happen if the heater is just in normal mode. Uh, the minute I put it into bind, if the code I just wrote is right, it should find the address of the heater that it chirps out and store it. Ugh, God, I hope it works. So I'm gonna set this up. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCBWay. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. Okie dokie. Heater is dim. We'll plug this in and we'll get serial calm so we can see what's going on. The heater didn't wake up but we are chirping. So it stands to reason it won't wake up because I just hard coded an address that isn't the heater. In fact, I used the original author's address. Okay, now it should have chirped, it did. That's it sending a wake up command. If I put this in bind mode now, in pairing mode, which is these two buttons, now, if I hit reset on that, it should send a chirp, and it didn't bind. Crud. That means, yeah, it didn't get it. Hmm. What happens if I hit the remote now? The remote is talking. That took us out of bind mode. Crud. That didn't work. The heater didn't acknowledge a send command from this as sufficient to bind to. It should have chirped out the address from the heater, should have stored it, and then the two could talk because this would send the address of the heater. Hmm. That sucks. Well, no go. It's in bind and nothing. So. Must have protocol wrong or something. I did use the original authors. I guess these, the theory was this style of remote would work. I think they wrote it for the red one. You wouldn't think the protocols would change, but I guess it did. So just so you get to see it, this is the, this is the, the goods when the heater is actually talking back and forth. And what this is getting, these packets getting back, are the data stream for all the set points, like the current temperature, the state, the RSSI, everything. Uh, yeah, that works good. The HackRF's awesome for that. Super, super clean, nice and easy, but uh, no bueno for the radio today. Okay, more videoing of the videoing of the screens. This is crazy. So I had to go back out to the shop and take a new recording with the heater talking to the remote. And I got a nice long recording of it here. I put debug commands all over the place. I put all kinds of serial prints because I can't, I couldn't get past the receiver enabled. I was never getting anything on the FIFO on the first in first out. And I'm not here, there's nothing, failed, failed, failed. So I hooked up the scope and I watched the GDO2 pin, which is supposed to go high when the FIFO buffer gets data. And I, I didn't think there was anything going on. And then all of a sudden it triggered and the code worked. 